Hello and welcome to In Vivo for Mac. I'd like to show you around the work area and introduce you to some key concepts along the way. When you open a project in In Vivo for Mac, you can see that the work area is made up of three main views, navigation view, list view, and detail view. Here in navigation view, you can organize all of your research materials. This internals folder is for the sources you want to store in your project. Things like interview documents, PDF articles, survey data, pictures, as well as audio or video recordings. You can create other folders as you need them. This externals folder is for the sources that you can't import, like hard copy books or archival footage. And here's where you can keep the memos that you write. Memos are a great way to capture your ideas and track your progress. The Notes folder contains the themes, concepts, or analytical framework for your project. The Cases folder contains your units of observation, like people or places. Source classifications let you store bibliographical details about your sources. For example, you might want to record the author and publication date of a journal article. Case classifications let you record classifying details about your cases. For example, demographic attributes of your research participants. Collections give you different ways to organize your material. For example, you can gather a group of sources or nodes into a set. The Annotations folder is where you can quickly find all the comments, reminders, and observations you have made about specific content. And here is where you keep the queries you want to save and rerun. For example, you could use a text search query to find words or phrases, or you could run a coding query to explore your themes. To work with your data, you can use the commands on the menu bar or on the ribbon. For example, this menu is the place to go for setting your in vivo for Mac preferences. The file menu gives you access to project-related commands for doing things like opening, closing, and saving your projects. If you want to do some housekeeping, maybe set a password or change the project name, you can do it here in Project Properties. And don't forget the Help menu. Click here to view the online help and get access to other useful resources. The ribbon is another, more visual way to access the commands you'll need for importing, analyzing, querying, and exploring your source materials. And if you like shortcut menus, you can get to most commands that way as well. Let's take a closer look at the ways you can work with your material. When you open a folder here in Navigation View, the contents are displayed in List View. You can sort the contents by clicking on a column heading. To open an item, just double-click and it is displayed in Detail View. All your opened items are displayed in this list here. Click here to select the one that you want to work with in Detail View. Now let's say you wanted to edit this document. You could just select this checkbox and make the changes. Deselect the checkbox to get out of edit mode. This document has already been coded. Coding is the way you organize your material into nodes, which can, for example, represent your themes. If you turn on coding stripes, you can see the themes that have emerged in this interview. It's really easy to code content to a node. Just select the part you want to code and choose this option. Enter a name for the new node and click Done. Here's the coding stripe for the new node. Using the shortcut menu, you could highlight the coded section or you could choose to uncode if you make a mistake. To close the document, just click here. If you want to explore all the content coded at a particular node, 
Just go to this folder and open the node. Here is everything I coded at the node Memorable Quotes. And using coding stripes, I can see which quotes relate to a particular topic. This will come in handy when I'm writing up my results. Thanks for watching this quick overview of InVivo for Mac. There is plenty more to learn. Be sure to read the Getting Started Guide and Online Help to dig deeper into the ways InVivo for Mac can help you analyze and make sense of your qualitative data.